What's up guys? Welcome to another video and today I want to take you to uh, a small trip to Austria. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, a coin. This is the Maria Theresia Thaler. It's uh, struck at the Austrian mint and this is a, a proof edition. And um, the reason I'm showing you this coin because I want to try something on another Austrian coin. So I thought, why not combine it with, uh, with showing you a coin that you don't see daily in YouTube. Uh, this uh, Maria Theresia Thaler is um, a coin that is struck for several hundred years now. It's uh, actually a restrike. They restrike it every year. And there are supposed to be some ways you can tell from which year it is, but I'm not sure how to do that. And also because this is proof edition, that's different. It's not a three ninths fine silver. This is a, a 92 and a half percent silver. If I'm exactly correct. Yeah. So it's 925, but uh, it's a pretty coin with a lot of history to it. My brother gave it to me. And uh, because he lives in, uh, in Austria, in Vienna, where, and he lives uh, about 10 minutes away from the Austrian mint. So he bought me this coin. Oh yeah, there it says uh, 1780 and it's been restruck ever since 1780. So it's a pretty nice coin. And I also have uh, uh, the Wiener, Wiener Philharmoniker coin, which is a pretty beautiful coin. It's small. If you compare it, let me grab uh, uh, American Silver Eagle. If you compare it to the Silver Eagle, it's it's very small, especially considering they're both one ounce. Let me lay it on top of it, exactly on, there you can see it. So the Silver Eagle is a lot bigger. But um, it's, it's a pretty uh, beautiful coin. And the only problem with the Philharmonic coins is the milk spotting. You can see a gigantic milk spot right there. And what I'm going to do today is, um, because I've, I've been watching some videos of milk spots, and I'm gonna try to remove it with an eraser. Um, it's not a, a premium or proof coin or whatever, so if it damages, it doesn't matter uh, really. But I just want to try it, and why not try it on a coin that has almost no premium rather than on a coin that does. So you can see the milk spot right here. It's actually a shame because I wanted some more of these Philharmonic coins, but those milk spots, I know they, they don't um, uh, damage your value, your silver value, your spot value, but um, it's just ugly. Otherwise, it's a pretty good looking coin. It's a, uh, a chunky coin, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to try it and we'll see what happens when I um, try to remove it. And I just have to erase it. I'm not applying that much pressure. I know and um, I've been watching videos about how <clears throat> this technique causes some micro abrasions on the coin. That's why you shouldn't be doing this on premium coins because you damage the coins anyway. Uh, let me check out what happens. I have to apply a little bit of pressure otherwise nothing is happening. So I've been applying now some pressure now. And you can see that a gigantic spot is coming up, but you can wipe that off. So you can see what happened here. And um, let me wipe that off with my glove. This is actually my glove that I'm using for cleaning and all that stuff, you know. So let's see what happens. Well. I think it works out pretty pretty good. Um, you can see the spot there with the scratches. But the funny thing is you can see it better on camera than you can see that in real life. 
If I hold it like this, you can't see the spot anymore. The spot was where the word silver is. So, and if I hold it like this, you can see the damage that I've been doing on the coin. So again, guys, don't do this on coins that you really love and appreciate. I'm trying the edge as well because the edge has some spots and all that kind of stuff. You can see the eraser is getting all black. Yeah, sure, drop it. Why not? Um, so yeah, it definitely damages the coin. And that doesn't matter as long as it's bullion. But it does matter if it's a unique kind of coin. If you want to grade it or just keep it in a nice way. So you can see the damage that I've been doing on the coin right there. Just showing it to you guys in different angles and different ways. If you see it like this, the spot is gone. And I've been applying minimum pressure just a little bit. If you watch it like this, then you see what happened to this coin. But a uh, funny thing is that if I made pictures of these, these coins, the milk spot reflects in the picture uh, a lot. So you always see that milk spot. Now I'm going to try to make a picture of this coin in the same way, which is probably a little bit just like this. And as far as I can tell from the screen right now, it looks better. So, so just a small video, a short video, sorry, a short video on milk spots and Austrian coins. So again, the Thaler, which is the word that we use in the Netherlands. The word dollar originates from Thaler. And after that, the word dollar, American dollar, Canadian dollar, originates from the Dutch word dollar, which originates from Thaler. And here you see one. So just a short video, removing spots. Don't try this at home, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.